During eight years as mayor of Beaverly, Conrad Lemon had learned several truths about municipal politics. Among them, democracy is a synonym for complaining. There is true satisfaction in getting things accomplished. Things seldom get accomplished. Garbage collectors and engineers are shysters, every last single one of them, and dislike is a useful and powerful force. Mayor Lemon knew positive energy was where it's at, that he had to promote the positive in his community, that he had to speak positive words and be positive about the future. It was what people expected, and he was good at projecting positivity with stoic confidence. He was the Clint Eastwood of positivity. But dislike, even though it was a negative energy, got stuff done. Dislike was a motivator. Take this lawn, for instance. Mrs. McManus was paying him to mow it and whack the weeds along the edges. Money was the positive motivator, and he doubted he would do the job for free, though he might if she was broke and if the property was in bad shape. He grew uncontrollably irksome when he drove past a house in Beaverly, any house, and saw that the owners had let their property go, long grass, weeds, pea burns, car parts leaning against the house, it motivated him. No, Connie, don't, his wife Margie would plead from the passenger seat whenever he abruptly pulled the car over to the shoulder. He would turn off the engine and make for the front door, smiling his practiced, comforting half-smile in case anyone was looking through the window, which was likely to have a bedsheet thumb tacked up against the light, a place like this. He'd deliver a confident rap on the door, not threatening, but carrying friendly authority. When a puzzled face would come to the door, wary of watchtower magazines and ex-cons hawking scissors and gadgets, Mayor Lemon would keep things positive, saying words like beautification, image, communityness, closing with a reminder about Beaverly's bylaws, which were really quite specific regarding maximum grass length and the accumulation of debris, he would finally give the homeowner his business card, along with an offer for advice and reasonable rates. All in all, it was a positive experience, at least for Mayor Lemon, who would get back in his car and ask his wife, you wrote down the address? Silently, she would hand him the scrap of paper, which he in turn would pass on to his municipal inspector. You can hear more about Mayor Conrad Lemon and the other characters in A Hole in the Ground when I appear at Livre Trois Canons in Quebec City on November 16th. I hope to see you there.